How you doing YouTube? This is Gunnery Sergeant 67 bringing you another YouTube video. Today's YouTube video is going to be on the 12 prepping items everyone living in an apartment needs. All right, let's go ahead and get into it YouTube. All right, so um, you have quite a few Americans and if you're viewing this uh, channel from another country, the UK, Australia, anywhere in Europe, Africa, Asia, then chances are that a lot of my viewers live in apartments or condos. And with that being said, your prepping strategy is going to be a little bit different because you usually um, are very um, restricted as far as the space that you have. Um, you, a lot of places have, uh, um, restrictions on the things that you can have and you can't have um, some of the prepping items that require um, some type of uh, finite fuel like propane or gasoline or diesel it uh, you can't really have that stuff or if you do it's got to be in very very small quantities and you also have other people really jam-packed in a small um, area so uh, Apartment preppers, condo preppers, whatever you want to call them, definitely are a lot more challenged than us that have a home or are renting an actual house. So today's video is going to be focused on all of the apartment preppers out there. Um, so like I said, let's dive into it. The number one prepping item everyone living in an apartment needs is going to be water. Water is one of the most important things you can have. Um, when I lived in an apartment, what I made sure I had was at least three cases of water on hand. And that was on the low side. I usually had more like five, but it usually was about three, three, uh, cases of water, um, 24 bottles, um, uh, 12 ounce bottles of water, 16 ounce bottles of water, and usually came in 24 to a pack. So you have three cases, you have a, you have a, a, a buffer of water that you have. So yeah, water, you definitely need to have water. Number two, you need to have food setback. Now, uh, food, um, preferably the food that you set back should be canned food. Um, the majority of us eat some form of canned food. I love stag chili. I have quite a bit of stag chili put back. Um, I really, really enjoy it, especially when you start putting some bread in there and some eating it with crackers and things like that. Um, it's got all of the things that you need as far as um, your uh, macronutrients. Um, it's, it's dense in carbohydrates and protein and fats. It's like the perfect combination. So for me, I try to uh, stack quite a bit of canned goods. Um, also with that, I dabble in freeze dry food like Mountain House, like what I got right back here. I got a, a bucket of Mountain House freeze dry food, 32 servings. Um, it's a little more pricey, but it lasts about 25, 30 years. So um, as far as my food preps go, I always have a certain percentage of my food preps as freeze dried um, or MREs. So you definitely want to have food. Uh, next, um, you always want to make sure that you have some type of alternate power source. Um, and for living in an apartment, what better alternate power source is a solar generator? Just like what I have here this Jackery 300 plus. Um, it's perfect. It can power all of your small needs. Um, it allows you to power your small to medium electronic devices like your cell phones, iPads, um, drones, rechargeable batteries, rechargeable flashlights, um, electric blankets, electric blankets. These small solar powered um, or these solar generators are perfect for electric blankets your ham radios, your walkie talkies, and your 12 volt portable refrigerators. Having the ability to generate power is huge in any type of 
SHTF event or grid down scenario, um, especially in an apartment. Um, one of my good friends who is also a prepper, he's also a former Marine. He lives in a condo and he lives on the eighth floor and he has rigged up a, with PVC pipe, um, a, almost like a solar panel rack that, uh, he, he has a little balcony that has a wrought iron, um, um, railing around it. And he specifically made this PVC pipe rack to accommodate his, uh, solar panels. And he puts three 100 watt solar panels on it and it sticks out probably about four or five feet from his ledge and all three solar panels get, uh, get sun. His, uh, balcony is east facing. So, um, he's got it rigged up to where, uh, he can actually adjust the solar panels with 550 cord. He's got 550 cord tied and he pulls them on them. And they will actually swing from facing east to facing straight up. And then he pulls on them again. And then they'll go ahead and face westward. Um, but the sunlight coming westward is very limited because you've got the rest of the building that's right there. So um, usually around 3 o'clock, he stops getting uh, sun to charge up a solar generator. So his time for collecting uh, solar is uh, reduced because of where he's at. But um, he's got a couple solar generators, so he has like a cycle plan. I think he's got three or four. He'll sit down and utilize a solar generator and whatever appliances he needs or small to medium electronics he needs. And then he will go ahead and switch them out and then he'll leave um, his solar panel plugged into his, uh, 100 watt solar, uh, panels for uh, probably about two or three days. And by the time it's ready to switch it out, the one solar panel that's being, or the solar generator that's being utilized, he's completely powered it up with those three solar panels. So it kind of makes up for the lack of sun for those, uh, last couple of hours, but it's a really good solid energy plan. So yeah, um, a type of energy plan to have an apartment is crucial and there's nothing better than a solar generator with solar panels. All right, so that was the third prepping item everyone living in an apartment needs. The number four prepping item everyone's living in an apartment needs is portable ba battery operated fans specifically for the summer months. Um, when you're living in an apartment and the power goes out, um, it gets hot really quick without uh, central air conditioning. So having a couple of uh, portable battery operated fans will be a uh, lifesaver. Um, like these three Ryobi fans, they're all really portable. Um, and both of them right now have the four amp hour battery attached to them. And on the low setting, um, I've gotten 12 hours out of those batteries. And then uh, make sure that when you do invest in these, make sure you buy a couple of batteries. I've got um, three extra batteries, two more four amp, and then one two amp. So um, that way that you can stay cool during the summertime, during a power outage or a grid down scenario. And you can be that much more comfortable. So that was number four of the four prepping items everyone living in an apartment needs. My number five prepping item everyone living in an apartment needs is an item that is going to go ahead and keep you warm during the winter time. And the one prepping item that is the best suited for that indoors is the Mr. Heater, Buddy Heater, right in front of you. This thing on low with a one pound propane tank can last anywhere between seven to five hours. Um, and it all depends on, on which tank you get. They're all supposed to be um, filled up to exactly one pound of propane, but 
Sometimes there's a little more, sometimes there's a little less. Um, the most I've ever got out of one of these on low is just a tad bit less than seven hours. And the least I've ever gotten on low is just a tad over five hours. So, um, but these things are great indoors. They're perfect. I would sit down there it, when I lived in an apartment, I would have a cookie sheet. I'd put this on top of the cookie sheet. This also has a uh, um, carbon monoxide or low oxygen sensor. So if um, the low oxygen gets uh, the oxygen gets low in the room, it automatically sh shuts off. And then it also has an anti-tip switch. So if this ever gets tipped over, it automatically shuts off as well. And with anything like this that has some type of open flame that's operating is, you always want to make sure that you have a fire extinguisher a class three fire extinguisher that handles all types of fires, electrical, um, chemical, and wood. And then you want to make sure that you have a smoke detector and you want to make sure that you have a carbon monoxide detector. So um, that is my fifth prepping item everyone living in an apartment needs. My sixth prepping item everyone living in an apartment needs is some way to heat food up, cook, or purify water. And for me, I went ahead and went with my Gas One dual fuel camping stove. This portable camping stove is fabulous. I actually got a review for, of this on my channel, so please, uh, if you're interested in this item, go ahead and go check out that video. Or you can do something a little more compact like this portable one burner Coleman propane stove. Um, same thing applies to the uh, all of the precautions that went into the Mr. Buddy heater. Make sure you have a fire extinguisher, make sure you have a smoke alarm and a carbon monoxide detector and ensure that you have a nice supply of the one pound propane bottles. Me personally, what I used to do when I lived in an apartment, I had six propane one pound propane bottles uh, set aside for my Mr. Buddy heater and then I had six for my gas one propane dual fuel portable stove um, and it just allows you to go ahead and cook or heat up uh, food um, and it is definitely a game changer because uh, for all of you people that have never lived in an apartment, the majority of your appliances are electric. Um, I've been in one apartment in my life that had gas ranges, but it was only the, uh, the apartments that were on the ground floor. Um, everywhere else was all electric. So yeah, your uh, number six prepping item that everyone needs in an apartment is a way to cook food, my Gas One dual fuel camping stove. The seventh prepping item everyone living in an apartment needs is a sleeping bag, wool blanket, or electric blankets. And this is self-explanatory. If you live in an apartment or a condo and where you're at, there is colder weather, you need to be able to stay warm. And what better way to stay warm than a sleeping bag? Uh, what's right in front of you is a USMC three bag sleeping system. Now, this has three separate bags in it. It's got a green bag and the green bag is rated for, I think all the way down to like 32 degrees, right at freezing. Um, there's a black bag, which is rated for, I think like 12, 12 degrees below zero. And then there is a Gore-Tex sleeping bag, the outer shell, which keeps off rain, wind, um, and other types of water. And then when you combine all three of them together, this bag can go down to, my understanding, is supposed to be negative 32 degrees below zero. Now, I've utilized this exact same sleeping system while I was in the Marine Corps up in Bridgeport for training and it got all the way down to negative 12 degrees 
and just using the sleeping bag alone in a tent, I stayed more than, than warm. As a matter of fact, a couple times throughout the night, I had to open up the bag because I was starting to sweat. And if you've ever done, if you've ever been in any cold climate, you know, when you start sweating in a cold environment, it's, it's not good. So having a sleeping bag like this or a bunch of blankets, specifically wool like this, this is a 80% wool, olive drab, military, fire retardant blanket. Now I got a bunch of these and just in case if something happens to my sleeping bag or if if somebody else comes over and they're they're at my house I can go ahead and give them a couple of these wool uh, sleeping bags and they're good to go. So that is my seventh prepping item everyone living in an apartment needs is a sleeping bag, wool blanket, or electric blanket. My eighth Prepping item everyone living in an apartment needs is a tent. Now, you might be asking, why would you go ahead and have a tent if you live in an apartment? Well, the reason being is because if you are in your apartment and the grid goes down and you are uh, in dire need to keep yourself warm, the best way to go ahead, keep yourself warm is to treat, create a microclimate. You pick one room out of your apartment and you go ahead and seal it off. Um, you bring in, if you are lucky enough to have a Mr. Buddy heater, you bring that in, you uh, bring your sleeping bag, you throw this tent up, you take a wool blanket and you put it over the top of the, the tent. You go ahead and put your rain fly over that and you secure it. And now you've went ahead and you have a much smaller area to go ahead and generate heat in the ability to trap that heat in there and stay warm and be able to survive that event. Uh, your, your, your chances of, of surviving that event have just grown dramatically because you've created a microclimate. You're using less resources to keep yourself warmer in a much smaller space. So... A tent. A tent is very, very important. That is the number eight prepping item everyone living in an apartment needs. The ninth prepping item everyone living in an apartment needs is some way to purify water, water container, water collection items. All right. So when you're living in an apartment or a condo, you need to be have a way to... Uh, once all of your bottled water uh, runs out or the, uh, the, the taps aren't distributing uh, potable water anymore, then you need to have an ability to uh, gather water, purify that gathered water, and also contain it. So what you got in front of you right here is an aquapod. If an emergency happens, you uh, unpack this, you put it in your tub, and you fill it up. Um, this aquapod right here is a, the smaller one. It can do 70 gallons of water. And you can go ahead and utilize that water. It's potable. So um, additionally, I've got a water brick out here. I got a couple of those. Water bricks are perfect for apartment living or condo living. In addition to that, um, you also, if you collect any rainwater, then... Uh, um, a lot of that rainwater is going to be coming off of your apartment building's uh, roof or if you all have uh, like small balconies and you've got people living above you, then chances are that water rain, the rain off is going to be coming off of that uh, balcony wall or ledge. So you can sit down there and hook up a tarp to it, put the end of the tarp inside of a bucket or a Tupperware container, and then now all that water will run into it. You can take that water and ensure it's fit for human consumption by running it through the Sawyer Mini. Uh, the Sawyer Mini is very affordable. I think I bought mine at the time for like $29, and it filters up to 100,000 gallons. You buy a couple of those, you'll be set. So my ninth prepping item everyone needs in an apartment is water purification container and collection. 
The tenth prepping item everyone living in an apartment needs is a way to collect human waste. And the best way to do that is just with a good old fashioned bucket. What you got right here is a Lowe's bucket and it has a gamma lid. A gamma lid is basically just a screw on lid. You unscrew it and then anything inside is secure. And the best way to utilize this in any type of human waste removal systems is just to get some garbage bags. If you want some fresh scent ones like I got here, you go ahead and line this bucket with that garbage bag. And then if you want for comfort, you know, buy some pool, no pool noodles and cut them in half and cut them down the middle and put them on the ledges of this bucket. And now you've got a makeshift um, toilet and you go ahead and do your business in the bucket that's lined with a garbage bag. And once you're done, you uh, put all of the toilet paper. Um, and then what I used to do, I had a cat though. I took, I would take cat litter and throw some cat litter in it. I would take all the air out of the bag, tie it up and then leave it in here. And it makes it nice and compact. And I will put the lid on that way. You could go ahead and utilize this bucket several times before you have to empty it out because all that smell and is enclosed in there and the cat litter definitely cuts down on the uh the uh, foul odors but yes that is my 10th prepping item that every prepper needs to have is some type of human waste removal planner system aka a nice bucket with a gamma lid on it my 11th prepping item everyone living in an apartment needs is a DC 12 volt portable refrigerator. What you have right in front of you is an ISCO JP42 portable 12 volt refrigerator. Now this thing is perfect for if you live in an apartment or a condo. You couple this along with a solar generator, a medium range or a large solar generator, then you have refrigeration. Um, and what makes this important is during a power outage, you can go ahead and transfer all of your food in the refrigerator into this portable 12 volt DC refrigerator. Now, um, it has 42 liters capability. So with that, um, things in your freezer, you can pull them out, put them in here. Now you're going to have to take them out of all the packaging and lie them flat. Um, but you can go ahead and stick them in here along with any of your lunch meat, your bread, your cheeses, your milk, eggs, anything you can put in this. And if you have a midsize to a larger solar generator, you are going to get plenty of runtime out of it. I have my biggest solar generator is a EcoFlow River 2 Pro. It is 768 watt hours. And that solar generator alone from 100% all the way down to zero powered this Iceco JP42 portable refrigerator for 76 hours. 76 hours, three days. So in all actuality, for most scenarios, temporary scenarios, that is more than enough to ensure that not only does your food not spoil, but you have things that you can eat before you start tapping into your canned food or your MREs or your freeze dried. What makes this especially important is if you're diabetic and you have insulin that requires refrigeration, this literally is a lifesaver. So that is my 11th prepping item that you need to have if you live in an apartment, a DC 12 volt reportable refrigerator. Last but not least, the 12th prepping item everyone living in an apartment needs is some type of personal protective protection item. 
For me, that personal protective protection item is going to be a firearm. What I got in front of you right here is a Glock 35 and 40 in Smith & Wesson. Um, the reason why this is a big prep for me, it's probably the most important. If you've ever watched any of my other videos, you know that for me, security is the most important prep. Because if you can't protect your preps, then you don't own them. So for me, a firearm is one of the most important preps. And, and it's because uh, living in an apartment building or a condo, you have a lot of people that are confined in one spot. So if anything, some type of SHTF scenario transpires or there's a prolonged uh, grid down scenario, then chances are someone in that apartment building or condo building is probably going to start doing some shysty stuff or some shady things. So the it is always better to be safe than sorry. And the best way to ensure that you are safe is to ensure you have a firearm. Now, if you live in a place where you can't have a firearm, then there are multiple other uh, items that you can go ahead and utilize to ensure your personal protection. Um, there's crossbows, there's bow and arrows. You can go ahead and do a sling bow, which is basically a slingshot that's rigged up to fire arrows. Um, something simple as a baseball bat, uh, knives, um, you know, uh, uh, hatchets, anything that you can utilize to ensure your personal protection. Me personally, I like things that give me a uh, ranged, ranged advantage. And the best way to do that, since I live here in the United States, is with a firearm. And, and for me, the most important firearm that you can purchase for your first purchase is a handgun. Because a handgun gun can be extremely concealable. A handgun is um, easily wielded. Um, a handgun is easily trained with. And all the things that uh, come with it are fairly cheap. So with a firearm, you just want to make sure that you get plenty of training with it. You get and you have ammunition to go along with it. And you get uh, the magazines or the speed loaders or the holsters or any of the other things. And the cleaning gear. Here is a 40 caliber bore snake for the barrel. Got to make sure you get your lubrication and then, of course, your cleaning brushes. So there you have it, YouTube. Those are the 12 prepping items everyone living in an apartment needs. Number one is water. Number two is food. Number three, solar generator with solar panels. Four, portable battery operated fans for those summer months. Five, the Mr. Buddy heater for during the winter time when it's cold to keep you warm. Six, a gas one dual fuel camping stove to heat up food and to cook your food. Seven, sleeping bag, wool blanket or electric blanket for the winter months to keep you warm. Uh, tent to create a microclimate to stay warm. Nine, water for purification, water container, water collection items. 10, your human waste collection system plan. 11, DC 12 volt reportable, re portable refrigerator. And 12, a personal protection item. And like I said, for me, it's a firearm. All right, YouTube, that's about it for today. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you like this content, please hit that subscribe button. Please go ahead and share this with your family and friends. Let me know in the comments section what you like, what you don't like. Let me know if you agree with my list. Am I missing anything? Um, is there something here that can be uh, switched out for a better item? Let me know in the comments below. This is Gunnery Sergeant 67. I'm out.